So if this is the kind of thing you'd like to see, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box, and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be making a black locust longbow. I just got back from a bow making class at Roots in Vermont and we made an Osage longbow and mine turned out pretty cool. I had a nice snaky piece of Osage. It was a great class and what we ended up making was a flat bow. So I've made a lot more pyramids than flats so I learned quite a bit at that class. It was a really good class. Uh, I brought back with me a black locust bow stave. So this stave is about three years old. So this thing is seasoned up perfectly. Uh, I have zero experience with black locusts in the past. So I figured I'd get a, one of these bow staves and give it a try. So I'm just going to get a chance to get it started today. So this black locust is going to work similar to Osage. So I'm going to get down past the sapwood and get into one of the rings. So I've got this thick black ring. So my primary job today is going to be to draw a knife off the sapwood and get one ring exposed. So now I'm down to one layer and the only thing left to do is just clean up this little bit of little residual sap wood and I'm just going to be using a cabinet scraper to get that done. So we can see I can I can gain on it pretty quick. So once I'm done for the cabinet scraper, then I can find center and start to lay my bow out. So it's been a little while since I've touched this black locust flat bow. This was the stave I got when I was in Vermont at a uh, Osage class. So I've got it all laid out. It's got that classic flat bow style where it's got a slight taper for the first two thirds of the limb. And then the last third, it's got quite a sharper taper and it meets for like about a half inch knock here. So I've got some cut marks here on both ends, uh, maybe an inch or so. So I'm going to cut those off and then I'm just going to use my hatchet and hew these down to the lines. So I've hewed that to roughly the outline. I've got pencil marks still, but not much. That uh, that flat hewing hatchet does a pretty nice job. I can just sight down the line and just, just cut it away like it's nothing. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and mark where my fades are all the way around. And from this line back, I'm going to give myself about a half inch thickness. So there's going to be a huge, huge chunk of this uh, limb that's going to be gone. So this is probably going to lose about three quarters of an inch right away.
with it. Ah, it's okay. Just a couple fibers. So there we go. So this is kind of bow-like in shape right now. I'm going to take the draw knife. I'm going to get the edges. I'm going to get these edges down to the pencil line. And I'm going to start to work these flats down a little bit too. Uh, I'm not really looking to get a floor tiller to this yet. Just uh, clean up my hatchet marks and clean up uh, the rough tears from the fro. So because this is going to be a hunting bow, I'm going to be using a darker stain with this. So here's my handle all sanded in. Loving the way this bow looks so far. Nice. All right, so I will let this dry. Man, that looks nice. And then uh, I might give it another coat or two. Uh, when it's completely dry, it'll probably be tomorrow. I'll put the first of many coats of tongue oil on it. So when you see this again, it's going to have, you know, maybe four or five coats on it and it will probably be a few days from now. I'm going to do a leather wrap handle. I honestly don't know if I can wait to shoot this thing. I'm kind of stoked about this one. This is kind of a companion bow to my, my Osage. So I really want to get this thing out and shooting. So I'm going to work on a string while this is drying and, uh, like I said, when you see this again, uh, all the coats of oil will be on and dried, and it should be pretty much ready to go. So the Black Locust flat bow is complete. Off camera, I gave it the tongue oil finish. I did a leather handle wrap with a leather rest, and then made a Flemish twist string. Got it all served up, and the only thing left to do with this thing is to fling a couple arrows through it. Now this is a lighter weight bow than my Osage, uh, and this is made in the exact same style as that Osage bow. And the Osage bow is a full hunting weight bow that's like close to 60 pounds. This is about 50. So I lowered the weight on this, more of a small game bow or a turkey hunting game weight bow. Also uh, something to work on form.
but I kind of mirrored their handle. Uh, they had some of these handle wraps on there. So pretty, pretty good build so far. Really liking the looks of this bow. First time ever working with black locust before. And it's nice to work with a bow stave instead of a lumber board bow once in a while. So let's get some arrows down range with it and we'll see how it does. So I'm running kind of shy on arrows. Uh, this arrow spine is incorrect for this bow. But uh, I'm going to use what I got and we'll see how it shoots. Starting to get the hang of this bow now. Uh, those arrows are pretty darn close. Uh, the release is a lot touchier on this bow because it's a lighter weight bow. So I've got a Bobcat target down range. I'm going to walk this bow around the course a little bit. Uh, super smooth shooting bow though. So you can see right here I've got a half groundhog. So we'll see if I can put an arrow in it. There we go. That would definitely take that groundhog down. So let's see how the black locust does versus uh, Tom Turkey here. Nice, right dead center. So the black locust flat bow shoots as good as it looks. This thing is a dandy. This is the second flat bow I've made and it definitely will not be my last. As far as wood performance of the Black Locust, uh, it definitely is a solid bow wood. Definitely not as good as the Osage. It's definitely a little bit slower. You can see it. I can feel it. Even though the weight is, is lower, uh, the performance is not quite there. But this is a great bow. I'm going to be loving having longer practice sessions with a lighter weight longbow. Uh, this is definitely a keeper. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.